Hey, what's wrong with you, man? You ain't subscribed yet? IUIC Atlanta Burning 2.0. What you waiting on? Get it done, do it now. Hey, get them clicks, get them likes, and subscribe. Do it now. Church is saying, teach you, God is good all the time. My brother right here, you don't heard that before. You don't heard, you just sat in church and, and they say, God is good. The whole congregation say, all the time. And all the time, God is good. My brother, I'm talking to you, bro. I'm talking to you. You heard that before, right? God is great. You I, heard that. I don't ever say good. He's okay, good. you say he's great. That's okay, right. my man, watch this, read that. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against. You. So now, the Lord said he spoke a word against us, brother. Do that sound like it's good or bad? That's bad. That's bad, right? Now, the thought should be, why is the Lord saying that? Right? Yes? Okay, read. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, read. O children of Israel. Now, you, you, so you, you quoted it, right? What's your nationality? Hebrew. Okay, that's a language. So what, what 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 is your nationality? What nation do we come from as a people? I come from the 12th tribe of Judah. My brother, you you say you come from the tribe of Judah, right? Because it's not the 12 tribes of Judah, it's the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. You understand? The father of the 12 tribes, his name is Israel. You got it, right? So knowing that, right? Where'd you learn that from? Where'd you learn your nationality from? My dad. Your dad. Okay. So your father, he knew who he was. That's my father. My father and my dad, two different people. Okay. So I'm asking, where did you learn that what your nationality was? Where did you learn that? I learned that when I was about seven. Okay. You learned that when you was about seven. All right. So what's today? Let me ask you that. Because what that, right? Watch this. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Watch that. Watch this. Knowing that you are an Israelite, right? You said you learned that from your from your dad, right? Now watch this. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And now Israel, uh -huh. what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? So now, did you know that the Lord requires something from you? Yeah. What is it? Obedience. Obedience to what? Obedience to what? His will. Okay, watch this, read. But to fear the Lord thy God. What do that part mean? He said he required for you to fear him. What that mean? Be afraid. Of what? Of him. His punishment. As in, of, of, of his punishments. Punishment. My brother, right? Now watch this, read. To walk in all his ways. What that part mean? To walk in, in righteousness. Okay, read. And to love him uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God Great. with all thy heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul Great. to keep the commandments of the Lord. So now, the Lord said he required that you keep the commandments of the Lord. Right? right. You understand that? You agree with that? That's right. Okay. So why are you not keeping the commandments? Which commandment I'm not keeping? I got you, my brother. Give me Leviticus. <laughs> Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Watch this. I'm going to show you exactly what it is. Leviticus 21 and 5. Read that. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. My sister, how you doing? Uh, we showing who we are according to the Bible today, okay? okay? Watch this. Read. They shall not make boldness upon their head. So now, I can tell right now, right, that you shave your head off, right? Your beard and your, and your head, right? You shave it. No? No. You don't shave? No. At all? At all. No razor? At all. So how you get that clean like that? 
How you get it that clean? I woke up like Stop. Be believe it or not. Bruh, am I not am, am I not am I not the same uh, uh, older man? I'm young, but I'm not a baby, right? right? In order to get it that way, you gotta shave. No. No. You don't need the clip of the nun. The white man will call it alopecia. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> My brother. No so you need. don't shave? No need. Not since 96. Not since 96. Okay. All right. My brother. I should have asked you first. My apologies. Now check this out. Check this out, right? What about your fringes? My yeah. Home. What about your fringes that you're supposed to have on your clothes? Oh. Huh? No what? Read that. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Uh-huh. Speak! Now listen, listen, my brother. What's your name? West. West. The point of us coming out here is to show our people how to get back on the good side of God. Right now, we're not there. Right now, when you look around you right now, you see our people at the lowest state, right? right? The Lord said he required for us to keep the commandments. That's what he required of us. This is the commandment. Read that. Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So the Lord said we got to keep fringes. And my sisters, how you doing? Hey, y'all go to church. Yes, yes, sir. Hey, what did the church teach you your nationality is? Black African. So so we can't find black or African in the Bible. Right. It's not in there. No, it's not. So that means somebody lied, right? No, of right. course. You already know that, oh, though, right? So do you have a second? No, sir. We you don't have? Okay, yeah. check out the flower, okay? All right, keep up with that word, though. All right, read. Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and bid them that they make them Fringes in the borders of their garment. So bid means to command, my brother. The Lord said we are commanded to keep fringes in the border of our garment. You know why? Watch this, breathe. Throughout their generation. And we're still generating. We're still having children. So that means that law is not done away with. We still have to do it. Breathe. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And the Lord said to put a ribbon of blue on top of the fringe. Right? Watch this. And it shall be unto you for a friend that ye may look upon it uh -huh. and remember. Do what? And remember Read. all the commandments. No, some of them. All the commandments uh -huh. of the Lord. And do them. So now, the Lord said the friend is a reminder for, of us to keep the commandments. Now watch this. Why did he say to remember? Why did he say to remember the commandments? I'm asking. Exodus chapter 20. Why did he say remember? Everybody can't though. Everybody can't? No. So what, what if you have Alzheimer's or dementia? Uh-huh. What's going to stop you from remembering this? Do you have Alzheimer's or dementia? Sometimes. You ain't got it right now. Sometimes. You remember to come out here and do what you wanted to do on the day, on today? That's right. Right? So you can't say, you can't pick and choose. My brother, what's going on, bro? How you doing? Hey, so what we're doing is we're showing our people who we are according to the Bible, right? Uh-huh. Right, you go to church? Yeah, well, not really, not. Nah. Not really? Okay. No. So, what, what's your nationality? Nationality? Uh-huh. You're not sure? Okay, that's cool. Now, watch this, right? So, now, the Lord said we had to remember to keep the commandments, right? This is why. Jeremiah 17, 4. I'm going to go somewhere else, but I want to show you. Jeremiah 17, 4. Watch this. Because you ain't going to learn this in church. Right. I'm just be honest with you. I mean, you're right. Yeah. That, that's why I don't go. That's why you don't but, go why? But, but, because they just teach the same old, same old, the traditional stuff. The traditions of men, right? Uh -huh. Right. Because they teach you Easter, Tradition Christmas, Fourth of July. Right. That's they pagan. celebrate all those holidays oh, that pagan, only... Pagan holidays. That's pagan, pagan holidays. Right. And guess what? They all come with the history and the demise of your people. That's right. right? Watch this. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou... Even thyself uh -huh. shall discontinue from thy heritage. The Lord said, we, the blacks and Spanish and Native Americans, the people you see on that sign right there, he said that we were going to be discontinued from our heritage, brother. What's your name? Ernest. Ernest. Watch this. So he said, we, what's the heritage of an African American? Let me ask that. Heritage. Yes. What is the African American? Anybody out here? My brother here. What is the, what is the, the uh, heritage of an African American man. Originality. Heritage means like the things yeah. you eat, the clothes you wear, right? The days, uh, uh, the holidays you celebrate, 
right? That's your heritage, the way we treat one another, right? What is the heritage of a, a black African American? You're not sure? I got you. I'm talking about today's time. Because, what do you say? Confusion. Confusion? I like that word. Okay, what else? What do, what do we oh, do? Oh, what do we do? Uh, I, got, got? I, got it, I got it mixed up when you said here. That means that what's the false, like the falsehoods of it? Well, like because like, he said confusion, so I can, what I can it, name what all it that, that. What did that African American people do? How do we live? My sister here on a Friday, on a Saturday. What is what is something that black folk like to do? She said party. She said what? <laughs> she said party. Party, yes. Yeah. Yeah, we hold that to a heritage, right? We're party. Hey, and that party, guess what come with it? Drinking. Fornication, smoking, right? Hey, all kind of sin. Yo, when I was growing up, it wasn't a party unless a fight broke out. If a fight broke out, that's how we knew we had a party. Chaos. Right? Straight chaos. That's the heritage of the black man today. But is that what the Lord said? No. Read it again. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. So we act that way because we've been discontinued from the heritage that God gave us. You know how? Yeah. Through slavery. Right. How? Through filling up the Christian institutions. Right? The, uh, the, uh, 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 the, the black pastors that go to the white theologian schools and they come out with a doctrine of white supremacy and they teach you not to find out who you are according to the Bible. Right. Right. We've been discontinued from our heritage. Read. Right? And right. thou, even thyself, shall Discontinue from thine heritage uh -huh. that I gave thee. He said, I gave you a heritage. Uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 17, verse 11. Now we got to find out what is that heritage the Lord gave us that we forgot. Read. Ecclesiasticus chapter 17 and verse 11. Uh -huh. Besides this, he gave them knowledge. So guess what? The Lord said he gave us knowledge. Right now, do we look like a knowledgeable people? No. Every time you see something, yo, I, I was watching a YouTube video the other day, right? It said the world's dumbest criminals. And guess what I seen? All young black men. Oh, no, the whole video. I had to turn it off. Oh, man, this is crazy. Right? We, we move with no knowledge on today. But the Lord said he gave us knowledge. Read. Besides this, he gave them knowledge. Uh -huh. And the law of life. And the what? The law of life. The laws of God. Read. For an heritage. So the Lord gave us a law, a life for an heritage. I'm going to give you an example, right? Go back to Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. I'm going to give you an example. This is a law. No, 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 no money. We just want you to listen. Watch this. Leviticus 21 and 5. Read that. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Watch this, brother. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So the Lord said, but your heritage, a part of your heritage, is not shaving off your head, right? You do not shave off all the hair on your head to make yourself bald. Watch this. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. He said you cannot shave off your beard, your mustache. You can't do that either, right? You know why? During slavery, what was we called all the time? What up? Start with a B. Boy. Right? Yeah. So when you see a young boy, do, do young boys, how you know he young? How you know how he, 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 he ain't got no beard on his head. You know he's a young man. Right. So they use that to oppress you. They made you shave your, you shave your beard because we learned that from the white man. They want to keep you a boy. They want to keep you a boy. They want to keep you like that. You understand? Guess what else come out of that? Pedophilia. Right? You see them boys, the, the men that like to deal with little kids, what's the first thing they do? They say they bed, they want to look young. Right. The Lord said the right. bed is a is a badge of manly dignity. That's right. That's what we gotta keep a bed on our face. That's what the Christians did, though. That's what the who? The Christians did. Who are the Christians up here? Where you see the Christians at? Point to them. There they go, right here. My brother, they right there. That's what they did. Yeah. You understand? That's what they, they did. They forced that on us. That's right. My sister, you listening? Yes. They put that on us. Right. The Lord said we would discontinue from our heritage, so now we got to come back to our heritage. Right? Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. When you shave your beard, what's one thing that come out of that? Physically, that come on your body. What do you get from that? Bumps. Bumps. Because you ain't supposed to do it. The Lord said, no, you keep your beard, brother. You understand? So now, 
we got to turn around now and start to seek after the Lord to see what is our what is it there's benefits to that who eat pork shrimp crab or lobster out here you eat crab you eat shrimp you pork you don't eat none of that my man you, you used to now watch this another part of our heritage is not to eat those things no meat period no, oh, oh, he ain't say that now. <laughs> we're Come on now. We were fruitarian. Uh -huh. Come on now. Uh -huh. We're fruitarian. A fruitarian. A fruitarian. I ain't never heard. Anybody heard that before? Herb. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I yeah, thought I was tripping. Like, yo, he just dropped that from the sky on me. <laughs> Doctor, a fruitarian. Uh, uh, follow Doctor Sebi uh, or Doctor. Now Yonsi. hold on. Now hold on now, because the Lord said we can eat meat. But watch this. Read that. Verse 2, speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat. He said, what? These are the beasts which ye shall eat. He said, these are the beasts ye shall eat. He didn't say you can't eat meat. You understand? He didn't say you were fruitarian. No. He said you can eat meat. Now jump down to verse 7. Watch this. Verse 7. Uh -huh. And the swine, uh -huh. though he divided the hoof and be cloven footed, Yet, he too have not the cut. So the Lord said, the swine, the pig, right? You can't eat the pig. Why? Read. Yet, two have not the cut. He doesn't chew the cut. So when you see a cow, right? A cow. Matter of fact, jump up the words talking about the hooves. Come on, brother. Stay with me, man. Help me out. Read that. And the swine. Though, oh, verse 3. Verse 3. Uh-huh. What's the other part of the hoof? Uh-huh. And it's clothing footed. Okay. So now he said, whatever part is the hoof, right? So now deers, they part a hoof like this. A cow, they part a hoof like this. The Lord said, you can eat those things, right? Read. And chew up the cud. Uh -huh. And chew up cud. And they chew up the cud. Like when you see a goat, right? Or a cow, they always chewing, right? They chew for long periods of time. That's chewing the cud. The Lord said, you can eat those things, right? Among the beasts, uh -huh. that shall ye eat. So the Lord said, you can eat those. Now verse 7, watch this. Verse 7. Uh -huh. And the swine. Uh -huh. Though he divided the hoof. So now, a pig, he divided the hoof, right? Read. And be cloven footed. Uh -huh. Yet, he cheweth not the cud. But he does not chew the cud. He just gobble everything up. I'm sure y'all y'all from the South, right? Y'all yeah. done seen pig pens before, right? You could throw nearly anything in there, you're going to eat it, right? Eat it. Uh, My sister, where you going? No, come back. Well, that's a hog. Huh? Not big, the oh, okay, but you got a question, I can better hear you. This is for you. Come in. Let hear this first. Come in, real quick. So now, you can throw anything in there. The pig gonna gobble it up, right? Okay, he don't chew the cud. Read. He is unclean to you. The Lord said, that pig, my sister, that pork is unclean to you. You know why? It damages your body. That's what it does. It puts diseases in your body. Sickness. Worms, sickness, illness, oh, high tough. blood pressure, tough. gout. All those things come. We got to think about what we put in our bodies. All praises. But you eat that catfish, though. Yeah. 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 Watch this. Jump down. Read that. Verse 9. Uh -huh. These shall ye eat of all that are in the water. Now you see how the Lord gave us a heritage. Now everything that he's telling us is beneficial for us to live. It's beneficial to our bodies, right? Watch this. Whatsoever have fins and scales. Now. You go fishing? You? Me too. You? But the clean fish though. You know how to clean them, right? Okay. So now, when you get that catfish, do you got to scale it? You say yes? No. Oh, oh, they got scales on. No okay. Scales. <laughs> okay, I got you. So you're going to learn something today. A catfish, 
You can't scale no catfish. You know why? Because he ain't got none. You got to peel the skin off of him. Right? You can't scale that. If the, if the fish ain't got no skin, it got to have fins and scales. Watch this. These shall you eat of all that are in the water. Uh -huh. Whatsoever have fins and scales. Now he said whatsoever's in the water. So now you got to think about it. Crabs. They in the water, right? They got fins and scales? Huh? They got shells. They got shells. They ain't got scales. That's totally different. What about a shrimp? Same, same thing. Same thing, right? So he said, whatsoever's in the water, everything in the water, out of those things, you can only eat what has skin, uh, scales and fins. Read. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the water, uh -huh. in the sea, uh -huh. and in the river. He said, no matter where it's at, sea, river, pond, lake, whatever, you can only eat what has scales and fins. You can't eat that, those, that seafood stuff, sister. And guess what? It's only going to be... Watch this. 1 Corinthians 3.16. Because it's only going to damage you. You understand? You got kids? You feed those things to your kids? You want to stop doing that because you don't want them to get hurt. Watch this. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. So now the Lord is telling you, listen... You are your temple. The Lord said you are his temple. Read. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. Uh -huh. And the spirit of the Lord wants to dwell in us. In our bodies, in us, in our minds. Read. If any man defile the temple of God. Now if you take the thing that the Lord told you not to put in your body and you put it in there. Read. Him shall God destroy. Nation is men leading by example.